Leslie Giuliani here with another encaustic technique video. I really hope you like it. Collage is a treat if you work with encaustic. Wax is an adhesive, so no other glue is necessary. Better yet, if you need to reposition a component, you just need to reheat it. The bond breaks and the piece or pieces can be repositioned or removed altogether. The freedom to fluidly compose and recompose allows artists to feel confident even when using their most precious collectibles. Lots of other media can be added to the collage to create as complexly layered a piece as you care to make. To begin, you can use any rigid absorbent encaustic appropriate substrate. If you choose to collage on absorbent paper, any bending can crack the wax bonds, so keep the piece flat until you can back it with something rigid. I like to use encaustic board by Ampersand Art Supply. They make many sizes of panels and custom sizes can be ordered from the factory. It is very absorbent. You can make your own substrate by coating unprimed plywood or an unprimed commercially made panel with RNF encaustic gesso. Ampersand also makes excellent unprimed basswood panels. To prepare the panel, I first warm the surface and apply a thin coating of encaustic medium, fusing it very well and then scraping off all excess with an old credit card or old hotel key. Working thinly keeps the visual clarity of the elements. I use encaustic medium because it has a higher melting point than beeswax alone. If I decide to use encaustic paint on top of subsequent layers, when I fuse, I don't want the layers below to melt before the top layer and cause my composition to slide around. We are going to be working with collage not embedding, where objects need to be fully encapsulated. The wax layers will be thin so that the components won't get bogged down with gummy wax. The materials you choose should be absorbent and not thick. Heat must transfer through the collage element to the layer below to fuse, otherwise your collage may delaminate. Steer clear of synthetics, which may deform, melt, or burn. I like to pre-wax all of my pieces so that each element contributes its own glue. I like to lay each piece on the palette, which has just a skim of encaustic medium. Again, I like to use the least amount of wax possible. I just let the pieces absorb the wax until barely saturated. Lots of materials are appropriate for encaustic collage. Quilting cotton comes in an endless variety of prints and colors. Tissue paper can be pre-printed, watercolored, or drawn on. To keep the drawing from smearing, I often lay the tissue image side down. The heating iron has less of a chance to blur the drawing. Threads can be used to create fine linear elements. I like to pre-wax my thread so that it can be securely placed in the composition. A sheet of parchment can help add pressure while fusing with less effect on the surface. Lightweight Encaustiflex can be pre-painted or printed and used as any other fabric element. You can also bury it under the subsequent layers of paint to add physical dimension. Newspaper and book pages are a great source for material, especially antique and obscure books. If you don't want to use up an image or you want it repeated, even at a different scale, you can always photocopy it and just use the copies, saving your original in an image archive. Keep in mind that pages printed on both sides may become transparent in the wax, making both sides of the text visible. That can be good if you just want printed noise rather than a clear narrative. Feel free to embellish any collaged or painted layer with drawing media, stencils, or transfers. Remember that the surface should be as smooth as possible for a clear transfer. Transfers can be fragile if you continue to add media. Be very careful or save them until the end. You can tone your collage with pigment stick or pan pastels, which can emphasize edges of the collage elements. You can use more than one color, of course. On the back of the RNF color chart, there is a table showing which colors are in the transparent range. If you want a subtle tone, you can first apply a very thin layer of blending medium before you apply the more staining pure pigment stick color. If 
This is your final layer. and There is no need to fuse the oil paint. Just let it dry naturally. But if you intend to add more layers of encaustic, be sure to make sure your oil paint layer is very thin and fuse it. You do not want to have a poor bond between your layers. Your collage can serve as a complex underlayer for a painting that almost gets lost, but adds a visual texture that draws you into the work. You can use opaque color to mask out areas of the collage to create a focus or a specific shape. Again, look at the back of the color chart to identify opaque colors. This provides another layer to work on with collage, drawing, transfers, etc. If you choose to add more collage, be careful when you fuse. Using an iron may pull the paint up into the collage element and obscure it. Heating gently with a heat gun and burnishing it may be a less aggressive method for fusing that will keep the collaged image clear. I hope you will give Encaustic Collage a try. Encaustic was made for it.